the new uh, G Drive driver, so new in the term because last year you were in uh, Tudor United Sport Car Championship uh, with Oak Racing and it was a pretty good season. So this year, what do you expect for, for Le Mans? Yeah, it was definitely a very good season in America. We were able to capitalize on some pole positions and we won a race. Uh, many, many podiums came out of that year. And I think this year is going to be even better. I've learned a lot, especially how to drive a P2 last year. And I will use all this experience towards this year and hopefully get, get a very good result. And for Le Mans 24 hours, I'm really, really excited. I'm the first Colombian in over 30 years to, to drive in Le Mans. So hopefully I can make my country proud and put our flag on the top, stop, on the top step of the podium. So you're in LMP2 category. We know that last year it was pretty, pretty competitive. So we can guess that in 2015 it will not be different. Uh, are you really prepared for 24 hours of, of racing, of competition? Yeah, this year's 24 hours of Le Mans is going to be one of the most competitive ever. There's 20 cars entered and uh, some on the waiting list. So yeah, at least there's going to be 20 LMP2 starting the race. And yeah, this will be my fourth 24 hour race. I've competed three times in the 24 hours of Daytona, but it will be the first time at Le Mans. And I'm very excited for this. How can you prepare uh, to go to Europe? Because it's obviously not your continent. Uh, and uh, is it a special preparation to be, to be here? Well, if you're in France, you have to drink some wine. <laughs> get used to the to the culture uh, but no it's not the first time I'm in Europe I did Formula 3 uh, some almost 10 years ago now I, I feel old uh, but uh, I know most of the tracks and and I'm really excited to be back and to be back in such a competitive and world-known championship as the WEC.